So the first chapter that we will be doing today is clocks. Okay. So I have taken this chapter after calendars because calendars and clocks like they are day to day aspects like we keep on seeing them, keep on seeing them. And in calendars, like I told you, what is the rationale behind creating so many problems? Because there is no uniformity across the months. There is no uniformity across the years. That is why we get many problems in calendars. Okay, it is up to the imagination of the uh, uh, question paper setter or the teacher. Fine. So today we are going to deal with clocks. Again in this clock, we will get uh, uh, different types of problems. But all these types of problems are easily imaginable imaginable in the sense easily we can you know like uh, fix upon the kind of problems what we get that is like okay these many questions will come apart from these like it is very difficult to find the questions on clocks because everything that we find about clocks is so uniform so uniform again we don't have anything extra like okay as we have seen in the years like one fourth day extra or 97 by 400 day extra all that thing we don't come across because while we are designing the clock it is exactly like you know uh, uh, 60 seconds is equal to one minute and 60 minutes is equal to one hour so like this like there is uniformity across whatever that we see with respect to clocks that is why we don't get many types but again like it is up to the imagination of the uh, I mean the question paper setter. So he might create different different problems in the uh, uh, dynamics what we have in the clocks. Usually they go ahead for defective clocks also. Defective clock. So when clock is defective, you can't just imagine one defect. Like there can be n number of defects with the clock. So that is again with respect to the imagination of the question paper setter. Understand? But very regular problems we have in a clock. Okay, you can easily uh, 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 correlate what we learn and what comes in the examination. Okay, first of all, why this particular uh, this thing? You know, I mean, why this particular uh, uh, clock? Let's say why this is made? Uh, 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 I mean as part of our quantitative aptitude or logical reasoning. Again, I treat this particular chapter under both, that is logical reasoning and quantitative aptitude because most of the answers that we get here, it is number, it is number. We calculate a bit, not so many things. In calendars, we have usually calculated with respect to divide by seven and with respect to divide by four. So that is the ultimate thing what we had in calendars. So similarly, in clocks also, we have very uh, limited calculations, limited calculation. As we have seen 7 and 4 in calendars, in this clock chapter, we will see 60 and 11. Okay. 7 and 4 are very important numbers there in calendars. Even if you do some jugad with 7 and 4, you will get to the elimination at least. With respect to clocks, it is 60 and 11. Okay, I will tell you how important these numbers are. Okay, and while we create few problems, create few problems on clocks, the very important basis for creating the problem is the shape of a clock, is shape of a clock. Okay, that is what? Circular. Yeah, we have now uh, triangular, squarish, uh, 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 even uh, uh, rectangular, like we have different clocks, but actual clock has to be what it has to be uh, a, a, a circle okay and with respect to the moment of the this thing moment of the minute hand and the hour hand so it is all fixed it is uniform across okay when we come across the you know like shape of this clock and usually we deal with analog clock okay what do you mean by analog clock the clock which is not digital yes or no so digital we get the numbers displayed there but here we get three different minute uh, i mean hands which are moving and usually we come across only the minute hand and hour hand okay second hand we don't calculate much minute hand and hour hand we come across okay second hand is a third hand like we usually don't come across the uh, uh, calculation of the moment of the 
second hand. Only two hands will be focusing. And I told you the basis of creation of the problems is the shape of the clock that is circular. And this circular is two dimension diagram. Yes? Yes or no? So why it is two dimension diagram? Why it is two dimension diagram? Tell me what is one dimension? What is one di dimension? Hmm? Dimension means what? What do you mean by dimension? See, in our GS also or other things, we, uh, we think, uh, keep on taking this particular you know, like word. Many dimensions, multidimensional, yeah, all that thing. Huh? Yeah, it is basically a point of view. When you see a line, when you see a line, like only one view, like if you see from the front, if you see from the front, like it will be a line. When you see it from this way, then it looks like a point. Okay. Then if you look from the top also, it will appear the same. So basically for writing this one, for writing this one, I don't need a plane. I don't need a plane. I don't need a paper. But usually we use this paper and all like we have the habit of writing the line on paper also. But it is single dimension because it has only one, you know, like measurement. Only one measurement that is length of it. That is length of it. But when we take a rectangle, I'm sorry, or uh, mm. or technology. So when we take a rectangle, do we have only one dimensions for it? While you are defining a rectangle, so what all that you consider? Length and breadth, no? So that is why that is, that is two dimensional. We have two different things. That is one is length and one is the breadth. Okay. And I have to have a plane to represent this. I have to have a plane. See, this board is a plane. This wall is plane. This floor is plane. And this uh, roof is plane. Understand? So these are all two dimensions. But we have three dimensions also. We have three dimensions. Uh, that is part of geometry and mensuration. Usually, we don't get questions from geometry and mensuration. Hardly from the entire chapter of geometry and mensuration, like hardly we get one or two. Maximum is two. That is why you don't have to, you know, like uh, smash your heads for geometry. With whatever the basic knowledge you have, you can go ahead with that one. Understand? Okay, if you want the uh, formula for area, then uh, perimeter and the volume, then curved surface area, total surface area. You have to have a chart. Okay, you have to remember those things. It is just the matter of substitution. And we have the basics of those things. And if time permits, I will you know, like give uh, 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 around half an hour's you know, like briefing on the geometry and mensuration, if time permits. Okay, so clock is two dimensional, two dimensional because it can be expressed in many uh, ways. For example, we have a perimeter for it that is called a circumference. Yes, we have a particular area. So usually two dimensional diagrams like they cover certain area. Line, does it cover any area? Actually, the line's thickness, if you speak ideally, line's thickness should be so thin that it doesn't occupy any kind of area. Understand? Point has to be ideally so thin that it should not have any length, breadth and height. But ideally we cannot write on the paper. Ideal is what? As if nothing. Okay, point is nothing. Okay, if you go for the minutest of the details of the point, then at least when we write, we can express in terms of micrometer and centimeter. Okay, but here when it, uh, micrometer and millimeter. So when it comes to circle, we have certain area covered. And the shape of it is a circle. I mean, the, the shape of the clock is circle. So, we treat it as two-dimensional. And when it comes to two-dimensional, definitely we come across certain, certain 
what calculations calculations okay clock let's say the minute hand will be like this and let's say i'll take the hour hand a shorter hand than the uh, a minute hand okay they travel certain distances so they cover certain distances means they cover certain angular distances as they travel okay for example this minute hand minute hand will travel what angular distance in one hour 360 degree yes so basically this fact of 360 degree will make us to calculate different things okay so basically one thing with respect to clock what they give in the examination like one is hour and another is minute usually with respect to seconds we don't deal much okay hour and a minute so these details they can give so when they give you the hour and minute they'll ask you to find out the angle angle that is subscribed at the center angle that is subscribed at the center so what angle this is creating now 90 degree so what time is it what time is it three o'clock yes you can easily imagine six o'clock you can easily imagine yeah yes but when we come across let's say 325 we cannot imagine perfectly yes so even if we imagine perfectly with respect to the angle that is forming that will be not accurate we have to use pen and paper yeah to calculate the angle subscribed at the center okay so usually one more thing that we get is the angle this is theta don't get scared we are not going to trigonometry okay because when we came across trigonometry you talked about theta first time otherwise always we have talked about angle 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 only okay these many degrees so only when we came across uh, trigonometry we came across this theta that is the representation for any angle okay so when hour and minute is given we can easily find out the what theta so these are three variables these are three variables when two are given we can find out the third one okay when hour and minute is given we can find out the theta when hour and theta is given we can find out minute okay usually they don't give minute and theta and find out the hour they don't hour and minute they will give and ask you to find out theta or they will ask you hour uh, uh, they'll give hour and theta and ask you the minute okay so this is it okay when it comes to the angles angles see whatever the angle that we are seeing here like corresponding to that angle there is one more angle which we don't stress upon yes or no so this is one angle that we have we focus on this one and another angle is there so that angle is this so we call this as a minor angle yes and this has a major angle okay and usually in our calculations most of the times 90 percent of the times we find out the minor angles only we find out the minor angles unless they ask the major angle we don't uh, uh, i mean uh, uh, worry about the major angle usually we calculate the minor angle done okay and the minor angle plus major angle will give us 360 degrees okay even if you get in your calculation angle which is above 180 degree let's say in your answer if you get around let's say 270 degree and let's say this uh, option is not there this option is not there then simply what you have to do you have to find the complement of this one that is 360 degree minus 270 degree will get 90 okay you have to look for the minor angle on this understood minor angle major angle yeah minor angle plus major angle will give us 360 degree okay so we'll start with like very basics of the clock very basics of the clock very basics of the clock here when we see 12 o'clock when we see, see 12 o'clock like we see the hands are coinciding with each other okay 
coinciding with each other. So usually we call this as either coincidence or coinciding of the minute hand and hour hand or overlapping of the minute hand and hour hand or meeting of minute hand and hour hand. And here in which angle you will be interested is it 0 or 360? 0, 0. Don't worry about 360 degree. Okay, 0 degree. So that is a, of our concern. And this is the time like which is very easy to imagine when the angle between the minute hand and hour hand is 0. But do you think this is the only occasion when they will meet each other? So there are many occasions. There are many occasions. So tell me how many times in uh, one day, that is 24 hours. In 24 hours, how many times they meet? How many times they meet? Hmm? Yeah. We will spend nearly 15 minutes on that one. We will spend nearly 15 minutes on that one. Like to find out how many times in a day, like we get the zero degree. Okay, that we will find out. And next thing is to imagine what? Next thing to imagine. Next thing to imagine when they are in 180 degree. 180 degree with each other. So usually this is minute hand and this is hour hand. Okay. At 6 o'clock position. Yes. Is it only the time that we have the uh, 180 degree between uh, minute hand and hour hand? There are many occasions. Again, in 24 hours time. Like how many times we get? We will calculate that one. Next important degree is this 90 degree. Is it the only time that we see the 90 degree between minute hand and hour hand? 9 o'clock? Yes? Yeah. So, we have certain, you know, like tricks and trades to learn. Like how many times they meet, all that thing. But the very basic thing what we have to focus upon is this hour, minute and the angle. Okay? Fine. Now tell me, minute hand takes 30 minutes to you know, like complete one round. Yes? Yes or no? Huh? No. Minute hand will take 60 minutes to complete one round. Yes or no? Yeah. Okay. So, 60 minutes are required to complete one round or one hour is required for a minute hand to uh, uh, cover entire 360 degree or let's say uh, 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 I mean the complete angle. Okay. When it comes to our hand, our hand, how many hours it will take to complete one round? 12 hours. Minute hand is taking one hour to complete one round and uh, 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 this one, our, uh, our hand is taking 12 hours to complete a round. Which is more faster here? Sure. Sure. Minute hand is faster. How many times faster compared to our hand? You have only given the answer. See, minute hand will take only one hour to complete the round. Then our hand will take 12 hours to complete the round. 12 times faster. No, simple. 12 times faster. By the time, by the time, the minute hand completes 12 rounds, the hour hand would have completed one round. Yes. So, if you compare the speeds of the hour hand and minute hand, it is what? 1 is to 12. Understood this? Speed of, uh, ratio of speeds of hour hand to minute hand is 1 is to 12. Understood? No issues? No uh, uh, toughness in imagination also? Yes? Okay. And when it comes to the division, the division, okay, the entire 360 degree is, you know, like, uh, 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 divided into how many numbers, how many numbers we are seeing here. Don't count one and one separately. This is 11 and this is 12. How many natural numbers we have? 12 natural numbers. So, basically, this 360 degree is divided into 12, 12 different sectors. I would call this as one sector. And this as another sector. Like that we have 12 sectors. Yes. So, each sector is of what angular distance? 30 degree. So, that is the basic unit. Yeah. 
when one o'clock has happened when one o'clock uh, 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 is shown in the clock so we have 30 degree between the yes okay so if you take the entire 360 degree and look at the moment of the minute hand minute hand covers 60 minutes or it covers 360 degrees in 60 minutes yes 360 degree in 60 minutes so every minute every minute what angle it covers every minute what angle it covers 60 minutes it will take to cover 360 degrees correct so every minute our uh, minute hand will cover how many degrees 60 degrees simple this is for minute hand correct minute hand will cover 6 degrees every minute yes so coming to our hand our hand so in one hour in one hour how many degrees are covered by our hand this is minute hand okay this is minute hand and this is our hand because see they different with different uh, they move with different speeds right okay our hands uh, minute hand speed i am talking now one minute six degrees correct coming to our hand in one hour how many degrees it will cover sure one sector so that is 30 degrees fine yes or no now tell me when a minute hand is covering 6 degree in 1 minute are you able to imagine minute hand is covering 6 degrees in 1 minute meanwhile meanwhile our hand would be still or it will be moving moving yes so what degree the our hand would have covered in 1 minute minute hand has covered 6 degrees in 1 minute our hand divide by 12 no because it is 12 times so slower than minute hand so 6 degrees is covered by minute hand so divide by 12 so half a degree is covered by our hand yes so this has to be there in the back of your mind the our hand is not still our hand is not still it is also in the continuous moment continuous moment but we don't see the jerk the way we are seeing the jerk no here with respect to the minute hand like we don't see this jerk in the our hand very costly clocks we don't see the jerk getting this one are you seeing i mean like it is continuous moment right so similarly our hand will also be continuously moving very minute distances it will be covering we don't see that one but if you put the camera in the fast forward manner yeah fast camera you will see the moment of that also yes or no so when the our hand is covering six degrees the minute hand will be covering 0.5 degrees so that is the basis for our calculation also because we have to imagine that even the our hand is moving every minute every second got my point yes and usual question will be what usual question will be what they give the time and they will ask you to find out the degrees so every time you don't have to you know like sit with the imagination of the clock then see take the protractor that is not allowed in the examination okay clock yeah unlock clocks are allowed in the examination yes but some individual letters will ask you to keep the uh, your analog clock also outside but in my experience they have never asked okay these years like i am hearing that uh, some individual letters like they will not allow your analog clocks also because they will be having one analog clock in the hall understand so they want you to depend upon that one and anyways you cannot carry protractor so there has to be some calculation like depending upon hours and minutes we get the theta okay during our times so again i had told you many a times that we didn't have like enough enough you know like guidance or enough you know like support from someone that you know like 
okay take this formula you will get the answer but again our exploration and our you know like deep analysis with respect to all these chapters has made us to come up with one particular formula and if you use this formula almost all the calculations the clocks is done only one formula that is the angle that we are finding is equal to half of the difference between 60h and 11h this is one formula that we use many a times theta is equal to 60 hours with a difference of 11 minutes divided by 2 so here h is what hour m is what minute so when they supply you h and m you can get the theta or when they supply you theta and hour you will get the minute getting my point yes is it difficult to remember and i had told you to remember two numbers two natural numbers in clock 60 and 11 if you think of 60 and 11 no in the examination at least we can eliminate few things in the paper getting my point yeah in calendar 7 and 4 and in this one 60 and 11 done yeah so now let us look at time and let us get the answer okay this is the basic thing that we have to do for a given time we have to get the uh, this one for the given time we have to get the angles okay done at 12 o'clock what is the angle zero sure yeah no worries at all okay but see here if you put h as 12 when you put h as 12 what will be this one what will be this one if you put h as 12 what will be the value of this okay at 12 o'clock what is the minute 12 hours and 0 minutes no okay right you are okay with it right 12 hours and 0 minutes so value of m is 0 so this entire thing is 0 but we are getting 720 with the difference of 0 what is the difference between 720 and 0 720 itself 720 divided by 2 what will get 360 but in answer 360 degree they will not give it has to be 0 so what you can do is whenever 12 is given in the paper whenever 12 is given as h you can consider that as 0 because when you take the 12 hour system you again reset your watch from 0 0 right in 24 hour system we go beyond 12 after 12 we go for 13 or in our Indian system or some like after 12 we come to 1 again understand but you can consider 12 as 0 for ease of the calculation I am not telling in 100% of the times you will get the ease of that one but like if you uh, replace 12 with 0 your calculations will become very simpler understand okay 12 o'clock h is 0 m is 0 so theta is equal to 0 yes coming to 6 o'clock 6 o'clock what about this 60 h would become 360 minutes 0 360 divided by 2 180 degree no so that is the angle that we have degree done coming to 3 o'clock 16 to 3 what is that 180 180 divided by 2 now coming to uh, let's say sometimes like uh, 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 430 430 how does it look 430 see here the minute hand will be there here the so how does it look what angle is it see now i have come from 360 180 90 now i am talking about 45 degree okay here put 4 16 to 4 240 minute is what here 30 minutes no? 11 into m 30 so 330 here what it is 16 to 4 240 here 330 what is the difference between 330 and 240 90 you would make sense of this difference mark right only our aim is not to get the negative number 
when you take the difference we don't get negative number whenever we have put the difference here whenever there is difference answer will always be positive yes or no so here 240 here 330 so difference of uh, these numbers is 90 okay so 90 divided by 2 45 degree okay so i have certain uh, clock i mean times so let us find out the degrees for them okay so first one is what first one is 1215 yes 1215 yeah for our normal binds it appears like 90 degree but while the minute hand has moved three sectors that is by 90 degree the hour hand would have uh, 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 traveled by how many degrees divide by 12 right seven and a half degrees so in 90 degree we have to subtract seven and a half degree but don't worry about this imagination and all just put the hour hand minute so 1215 so theta is equal to 60 hours is 60 into 12 or put zero then with the difference of 15 into minute uh, uh, 15 uh, 11 minute 11 minute so 11 into 15 so what it is 165 right this is equal to 165 right and here 0 so 165 divided by 2 so 82 and a half degree why because why because this clock oh it has become egg yeah you can see the movement of the hour hand from here to here so almost like it is near three but this one the minute hour hand will not be exactly at this it would have moved by some degrees so that is seven and a half degree less that is seven and a half degree less so 90 degree minus seven and a half degree will give us 82 and a half degrees correct yeah so that is the calculation now see for 1230 generally our mind will go for 180 degree mind will go for 180 degree but is that right because even the hour hand would have moved by some degrees right so when the minute hand has moved by 180 degree our hand would have moved by 15 degrees it would have moved by 15 degrees so 180 minus 15 would give us the answer 165 okay fine so 12 30 again put 12 as 0 so 16 to 0 with the difference of what 30 11 into 30 divided by 2 so this is 330 divided by 2 so we'll get 165 is that done is that okay yep okay now 12 5 12 5 go for minor angles 275 is above 180 no so better you subtract that whatever the angle from 360 degrees so 12 5 anyways this will be 0 5 will be what 11 into 5 yeah you, you got 27 and a half i think it is not 275 it is 27 and a half yes yeah so 11 into 5 55 55 by 2 27 and a half done no problem no problem yeah yeah then what about 1255 can you imagine the clock when it is one uh, i mean 1255 So 1255, it will be like this. Mm -hmm. Just five minutes before one o'clock. Five minutes before one o'clock. It appears like 60 degree, but it is not. Yeah. So 1255. See, in this case, you will get major angle. Okay. When you substitute 55 for M, you will get the major angle. Yeah. So that is what? 0 for 12 so 
So here 55 into 11. 55 into 11 will be what? 55 into 11 will be 605. Only in such cases we will get the answer as 302.5 but we don't want major angle. Subtract it from 360 we will get 57 and a half. Yes, it is not 60, it is less than 60 that is 57 and a half. See always in your back of mind it has to be there whenever the minute hand moves the hour hand would have moved by little, moved by little. Okay, and see, if the hour hand, see, you can write later, when the hour hand, uh, uh, sorry, when the minute hand has moved, you know, like entire this thing, it has moved only one sector, or when the minute hand has covered 12 numbers, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 numbers, the hour hand would have covered only one number. So, the relative speed, so far I was talking about the comparison of the speed, that is 1 is to 12. Yes or no? If you compare the speed of the hour hand to that of the minute hand, the speed ratio would have been 1 is to 12. But look at the relative speed, relative speed in the sense like when minute hand is moving, even the hour hand is moving, but is it moving in the opposite direction? Same direction, right? So, whenever, whenever the minute hand has covered 12 numbers, our hand would have covered one number. So, if you take the relative speed, that is nothing but 12 minus 1, because they are moving in the same direction. When I take uh, this time, speed and distance, I will tell you what exactly is the relative moment. Okay, because they are moving in the same direction, like we have to subtract the speed of the what? The hour hand. So, if the speed of the minute hand is 12, the speed of the hour hand will be 1. So, 12 minus 1, 11. So, that is this magical number of 11. Getting my point? Okay, I will tell you the importance of this number later. Let us calculate quickly. 315. 315. It appears like 180 degree, but it is not. It appears like 180 degree, no? Straight line. But it is not. So, 360 is a 180. 15 into 11, 165. Uh, correct, no? 180. Uh, sorry. Okay, okay. I am sorry. 350 and appears like 0 degree, but it is not. Okay, I thought 345 or 245. Okay, so it appears like 0 degree, but it is not. Okay, 315, like 360 is a 180, 15 11 is a 165, difference is 15 divided by 2, it is 7 and a half. Yes, by the time the minute hand has covered 90 degrees, the hour hand would have covered 7 and a half degrees. So that is the understanding. Yes, no problem. Next. 330 appears like 90 but it is not. When the minute hand has covered 30 degrees, the hour hand would have covered how many degrees? Sorry, 90 degrees. If minute hand had covered 90 degrees, the hour hand would have covered 7.5 degrees. So, we get the answer as 82.5. Okay, 330. 63 is a 180. Oh, 15 degrees. Okay, 360 is a 180 degree, 30 into 11, 330, yeah, 360, uh, 180 minus 330 is 150, 150 divided by 2, 75 degree. done, yeah, and whatever that appears to your mind, na, when you imagine, that will not be correct, okay, except 12, 6 and 3 and 9, all other times, the imagination will go wrong because we don't consider the our hand is moving okay so our hand is moving that is making the difference here done yeah next 345 the clock appears like this 345 the clock appears like this correct 
by the time it has moved 270 degrees, it would have moved how many degrees? 270 degree divided by 12. So around 22 and a half. Yes. But calculate with this formula. 360 is a 180 and 45 into 11. 45 into 11 is how much? 495. 495 minus 180. We get what? Three, uh, 495 minus 180. 315. So we'll get the answer as 157 and a half. Yes. Yeah. 430 already I have calculated. 75 degree. 630. 630. What about 630? It appears like coinciding. No. The answer is what? 15 degrees. Yes or no? 15 degrees, no? By the time... The minute hand has covered six sectors, our hand would have covered half a sector. So that half a sector is 15 degree. Yes. Are you finding any difficulty here? See, I have told you in the beginning, my speed should not be a problem to you. And you are not competing with me. And I don't want to compete with you. Okay. Enough of competition for me. Okay. So, when you understand the logic, it is you and your speed. Don't worry about my speed. Okay. I cannot give you the ample time in the class. Because I have to go and, you know, like cover the entire portion within 60 to 70 hours. It is not that easy. Understand? So, whenever you understand the logic, let's say, if you have not done few calculations, give blank there. You blank then you can go home and solve. Okay, fine. Next is 730, 45 degree only. Then 840, 860 is a 480, 40 into 11, 440. Okay, yeah, 40 is the difference. 40 divided by 2 is, see here you have to know the skill of multiplying by 60, skill of multiplying by 11. Yeah, I can't help that one. Okay, I can't come and solve for you. Then 950. It appears like as if coinciding. 950. But it is not. Yeah. So how many degrees? 5 degrees. Yes. Yeah. No problem. Then now the next exercise. Next exercise is to find out the mirror angles. So what do you mean by mirror angle? When I take clock here, when I take a clock here, okay, if I ask you the mirror angle, where do you keep the mirror? It can be kept here also. So basically the mirror next to it, mirror next to it, yes or no? If you keep the mirror here or here, we don't get fun. Okay. So, generally we keep the mirror here or here. Now tell me, it is almost like 10.45. If I keep a mirror here, if I keep a mirror here, how does it appear? 115? It appears like 115? Yes. Now let's say, it is around 10.30. What is the mirror image? 1.30. 9.15? Somewhere? I knew. 2.30. 2.30. Sure. Yeah. What is the time now? 7.40. So mirror image. Sure. 
ఓ ట్వంటీ పక్క టూ ఫార్టీ ఫైవ్ ఆర్ వన్ ఫార్టీ ఫైవ్ షూర్ బట్ ఆల్వేస్ ఫస్ట్ ఇట్ అపియర్స్ టూ సో దట్ వుడ్ బి రాంగ్ what 50 minutes 1 12:50 imagine no 12:50 right yeah keep me mirror, mirror here or here it doesn't matter okay so how does it appear 11:50 or 12:50 what 1250 no so we have to be extra careful here but you don't get this luxury to you know like carry the analog clock and doing this one you don't get this luxury if you are found doing something with your watch again and again then the invigilator will catch you understand so for that we have a shortcut we have a shortcut Hmm? No. Anyways, don't worry about them. Let them be there. See, you take... Uh, 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 let's say that first number 1215 1215 how do you write it in a sentence how do you write it in a sentence 1215 that is not correct english so how do you put it in a sentence proper for example when you are writing a check you write you know, like in words right you will you don't write 1215 like that so you put it in a sentence right yep what fast it is 15 past 12 or 15 past 12 o'clock okay fine or uh let's say you take this one 55 minutes 12 o'clock yes or no yeah now tell me there are two standard times there are two standard times standard times in the sense like with respect to the hour and minute which appear same even in the mirror angle even in the mirror image like it will appear the same 12 yes 6 6 o'clock and 12 o'clock so always take this 6 o'clock and 12 o'clock as the reference points reference points that is like you are taking 6 o'clock and with respect to 6 o'clock the moment of the clock how many hours after 6 o'clock or how many hours before 6 o'clock or similarly for 12 o'clock how many hours after 12 o'clock and how many be- hours before 12 o'clock make one practice either for 6 or for 12 12 is easy to imagine okay so better we will stick with 12 okay now see the first time is 15 past 12 right see in this sentence to find out the mirror angle of it the mirror image of it what you have to do is you have to just replace this with the opposite word because in mirror angle Uh, mirror image what we are doing we are, we are getting the opposite right so even in english we'll make it opposite so this is what 15 2 
So basically this is 15 minutes past 12 o'clock. Now change this one past to 15 minutes 2. So this is changing to 2. Then here same. 15 minutes to 12 o'clock. So 15 minutes to 12 o'clock is what? Or if you are feeling this past time 2 has very high fi English. This is after right? 15 minutes after 12. So opposite of after. 15 minutes before 12. Done no? So 15 minutes before 12 is how much? 11.45. Done. Similarly. 12.30. Half past 12. So half to 12. Or half before 12. 11.30. Simple. 12.05. 5 minutes past 12. So 5 minutes before 12 is how much? 11.55. Done. 12.55. 55 minutes past 12 o'clock. So 55 minutes before 12 o'clock. Is 11.05. Is 11.05. Similarly 3.15. See. Here just. We don't depend upon. You know, like 3. We have to depend upon. Uh, 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 12 here. I will tell you how to. Write for that also. This is what. 3 hours 15 minutes, 3 hours 15 minutes past 12, right? Or after 12, correct? 3 hours 15 minutes after 12. Now I am going to change this one to what before? Now what we have to write? 3 hours 15 minutes before 12. You cannot directly jump with these two dimensions. Just go with 3 hours first. What is 3 hours before 12? What is 3 hours before 12? 9, no? Then we have to find out 15 minutes before 3 hours before 12 is 9. Now, 15 minutes before 9. So, what is that? 8.45. Done. Got the trick? Got the trick? Just get the opposite of after or before. You can apply it for before also. If before is here, then you can put, uh, I mean, you can take the opposite of that as after. Simple. Is that okay? Are you getting the hang of this one? Yeah. Now, 3.30. 3 and a half hours after 12. Will Okay. Anyways. Now, we'll learn those facts I had asked you, no? Like how many times the minute hand and hour hand will coincide. Then how many times the minute hand and hour hand will make 180 degree between them or a straight angle. Straight angle is 180 degree, no? You remember that one? Yeah, very good. Yeah, I know. I, I don't go any further for acute, obtuse, reflex, all that thing. Okay, I don't want that one because my time is very important now. Yeah, how many times... They will make straight angle. How many times they make right angle? So that we will learn now. Okay. Now, first, okay, we'll come to this question later. <coughs> yeah. First, we'll go for 0 degree, 0 degree or 360 degree. So both are same. 0 degree or 360 degree. This is the angle between the minute hand and hour hand. How many times we meet them or they meet each other. Okay. For the first time, for the first time, where they are meeting? Yeah, we start with 12. We start with 12. Yeah. Now, 
when is the next time that they meet each other this is the first time that they have met each other right yeah this is the reference time that we take because after 12 they don't meet each other at exact what full hours yes or no after 12 o'clock they never meet each other at exact full hour do they meet at 1 o'clock do they meet at 2 3 4 5 so only at 12 o'clock exact they meet each other so next time they meet where are they meeting where are they meeting approximately not exactly at 15 because i have told you by the time minute hand moves 5 minutes or 30 degrees 30 degrees the hour hand would have moved by 30 by the time our hand has covered 30 degrees sorry by the time minute hand has covered 30 degrees the hour hand would have covered so what is this ratio of the speeds of hour hand and minute hand 1 is to 12 no so if the minute hand has covered 30 degrees hour hand would have covered Thirty divided by twelve. Yes or no? Seriously? Two point five. So at exactly one o five, they don't meet each other. Exactly at one o five, they will be like this. There is certain degree between them. See, look at this. Like they are not exactly coinciding. Now. after few seconds they coincide with each other getting my point so it is not exactly at 105 next do they meet at 210 exactly somewhere after that somewhere close to 211 they meet what about 3 will they meet at 315 exactly look at the angle they are not meeting each other now they are now After four twenty, after five twenty five, after six thirty, yes, five 